हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस आर राहुल हेयर एज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेजी कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी एंड टूडे वी वुड बी कवरिंग अ वीडियो ऑन असेट स्वैप विद हैजिंग लाइक प्रीवियसली वी कवर्ड अडियो असेट स्वैप विदाउट हैजिंग एंड नाउ वी वुड बी कवरिंग अ वीडियो असेट स्वैप विद हैजिंग द आइडिया रिमेन सिंपल बट हेयर दीन इज लिटिल सीन इज लिटिल डिफरेंट Here we have asset swap buyers. Those who are watching this video first time, not watch the earlier video. Let me tell you that asset swap is a brilliant instrument, which can be used to uh, take the benefit of the frictionality in the market. Frictionality refers to a fact that when uh, you know, uh, frictionality refers to a fact that when uh, there there is a mispricing in the market. Let me be very more technical, which is used to gain the benefits of the mispricing in the market. and asset swap is also an instrument whereby you will convert your floating liability to fixed or fixed to floating that is sometimes asset swap are also used when you are uh, converting your one part of uh, one currency to another currency that we would be covering of course which is cross currency uh, cross currency asset swap now here you have a set of buyer goldman sachs who is buying a bond from a bond trader pimco Pimco is the largest uh, bond trading firm we have across the globe, uh, founded by Mr. Bill Gross. So, asset swap uh, buyer Goldman Sachs is buying, paying full price. I'll repeat, full price is also equals to dirty price, and dirty price is equals to clean price plus accrued interest. Clean price is also known as present value plus accrued interest. That is. So this is paying the full price, and they are getting the bond. Of course, I will not repeating that. Here, if you want this to be amortized, you need to pass the business model test, and you need to pass cash flow characteristics test to get it amortized else they are going to be part of pnl so if if this full price is greater than 100 then it is going to be a loss if it is equals to 100 then it is okay if it is less than 100 then it is going to be a gain and who will determine that who will determine that this this will determine that whether you can amortize this or not else it is going to be pnl right but that is investment accounting that 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 said we are not touching as yet now goldman sachs is taking a cds position with hsbc it is an interbank cds which they are taking and of course they are paying for that assuming this bond is of 10 years and goldman sachs is taking the the bullet cds right and assuming they are taking single trigger cds let me write here they are taking single trigger cds which means that if anything would happen then it would get invoked now this single trigger cds hsbc will get the money and in case of any default hs this will invoke and hsbc will pay to gs in the meantime it is not uh, invoking gs will continue to pay the bond coupon which is fixed let me write fix and would receive the float which is libor plus qsd libor plus quality spread differential and this floating risk is in the books of the goldman sachs because they are receiving they are receiving libor in case of any default hsbc will pay to goldman sachs either it could be payment obligation or reference obligation these two differ majority of the people don't know that that cds at the time of the invoking will pay either reference obligation or uh, payment obligation in case of payment obligation hsbc will pay the complete cash which is in dollars in case of reference obligation they will pay the share price or any kind of note or a bond or a government security or anything depend upon the contract which is as equivalent as equivalent to the value of that of course this will include accrued interest also now based upon the uh, contract it could be a payment obligation or a reference obligation and here you know uh, what it would happen government says will cancel this because now they are there is no coupon which they are getting Goldman Sachs will cancel this with the Credit Suisse, who is an who is an AS seller, and that would be mark to market settlement. Again, the issue will once again come whether this mark to market settlement is L1, level one, which is 100% observable, level two, which is at least 99%, at least 1% non-observable, or uh, rest you understand, and balance is observable. or l3 which is also known as mark to model m2m but which is 100% non observable 
and of course finally if it would default this would impact the income of the cs which is uh, the pool of the uh, which is the pool of the securities it could be fixed and it could be and uh, it could be float this is how it will go and this is how it it should go on which is asset swap which hedging the only difference is here i have made some amendments here we i have taken pimco from where they are buying the bonds so goldman sachs is not directly buy with the uh, credit suisse goldman sachs is taking a cds position with hsbc and that cds position is going to be paid so they are paying the cds cost and they are paying fixed to credit suisse they are receiving floating that floating risk is in the books of the goldman sachs of course and in case of any default they would either receive payment obligation or reference obligation payment obligation refers to in dollar terms and reference obligation refers to the asset terms and this is going to be m to m which is mark to market and the entire stuff is going to be cancelled and uh, this is for the today and uh, wherein we covered asset swap with hedging using cds and here we use single trigger cds more videos on the way in case you have uh, anything you are welcome to ask uh, connect us www.treasuryconsulting.in and our mobile is 9892429278 My Skype ID is Rahul5327. My email is Rahul.Magan at the rate Tragic Consulting. In. Thank you and have a wonderful time ahead.